is for the sins that rule our minds and hearts. Red. It's for the blood he shed to give us all a new start. White. It's for forgiveness and the Holy Spirit in you and me. Green. It's for our faith that grows as strong as the strongest tree. Yellow. Is the light of Jesus, so let your lights glow. Is the life given us because God loves us so. Purple. It is for our, our royal king who reigns in heaven above. So share this story with everyone, all those who you love. It is early Sunday morning when women come to anoint Jesus' body. This is read in Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 12. My heart aches. I can't believe that they crucified Jesus. And because of the Sabbath, we couldn't anoint his body. But as soon as the sun comes up, my friends and I are going to the tomb. We will prepare our Lord for a proper burial. I only hope the soldiers that Governor Pilate ordered to guard the tomb won't give us any trouble. In fact, I hope they'll help us because I have no idea how we will move the heavy stone that covers the entrance. Here are my friends now. Living among the dead, he is not here, he has risen. Remember when he was still in Galilee with you? The Son of Man must be delivered in the sinful hands and must be crucified and on the third day rise. Yes, I remember now. We've got to tell the others. The tomb is empty. No way. The stone was rolled away. How could that happen? Two angels told us that Jesus is alive. That's nonsense. But just in case, let's check it out. He's alive. Yes, the tomb is empty. He's alive. 
This is read Luke chapter 24, verses 13, 35. They are discussing how the Passover was terrible instead of a joyous celebration. What are you talking about as you walk along? You mean you don't know the horrible things that have happened in Jerusalem? Or are you just a visitor arriving? Tell me, what things? About Jesus of Nazareth. He is a powerful prophet. We hope he is the one we were waiting for. Just three days ago, he was crucified. It was awful. awful. He was buried in a rich man's tomb, but some women who went there this morning say it is empty. Some women said that they saw two angels. They said Jesus is alive. But the women didn't actually see Jesus, so we don't know what to think. My friends, you are slow to believe what the prophets have spoken. Have you forgotten that Christ had to suffer these things and then enter his glory? Please, tell us more. Yes, come and have dinner with us. It's getting late for anyone to be traveling now. The three arrive at the house and begin to eat. As Jesus blesses the bread, he is revealed to them. Jesus, it is you. Jesus. We've got to go back to Jerusalem. We've got to tell the others. 